In this video, I'll teach you how to take close-ups of tiny little pets like our hamster here. They say never work with children or animals. However, that didn't stop us getting some great pet portraits for this project. We decided to photograph our little pet hamster, Cloudy. We've set up a simple small home studio by using a piece of blue background roll taped to the wall and hanging over the top of our hamster's cage. The bright colour helps to inject some life into the shots. To light up our little hamster, we use two Canon Speedlight 580 EX2 flash guns on stands fired with wireless triggers. Both were set to 1 1 28th power so they didn't scare our hamster. One was positioned at the front at 28mm zoom and one to the side at 50mm zoom. We used a Canon EOS 5D Mark III and 24-70mm f 2.8L standard zoom lens. With this lens we found we could focus close enough for a frame filling composition. We shot at 70mm as a hamster is so small, but for cats and dogs and larger animals you can zoom out or step back. It might be tempting to use your widest aperture for some creative blur, but when focusing closely on small subjects, depth of field is very shallow at f2.8. So we shot at f5.6 for enough depth of field of the hamster at our focal length of 70mm. Our shutter speed was 1 200th of a second to freeze any motion, and the ISO at 640 to keep the image nice and bright, in conjunction with the flash guns on low power. We're now ready to take some shots. It's just a case of getting our subject where we want them. The best way to attract little rodents is to use their favorite food. Cloudy, our little hamster, loves nuts. An assistant comes in handy here, as they can entice a little pet to stay still and possibly balance on their hind legs for a better pose. Patience goes a long way here to getting a good shot. We were finally able to get a winning shot after using her cardboard tube to keep her stationary just for a couple of seconds before she climbed out. 